Now, the hypnotic calypso isle called Barbados is probably the ultimate Caribbean dream. In fact, it has one of the highest return visitor rates in the whole of the world. Now, it's most famous for its miles of palm fringe beaches, but did you also know it's actually the birthplace of rum, which was originally called Kill Devil by the plantation workers. Now, Barbados has one of the best duty-free shopping scenes in the Caribbean, and also on the flip side, a chance to enjoy high tea in Trafalgar Square. That's why it's called, in part, Little England. Now, Harrison's Cave is one of my must-dos. It has to be seen to be believed. Um, it's all sparkling streams, beautiful waterfalls, and stalactites and stalagmites, and beautiful shady tunnels that you can sail through. Now, the oldest rum in the world is the Mount Gay Rum, and you can visit the plantation. They've been producing it for over 300 years. I really do recommend a tasting there, and it will certainly brighten your day. One of my favorite beaches that pretty much ticks all the boxes is Carlisle Beach. Miles of toe-tickling golden candy floss sand, and also a chance for you to slip on your flippers and your mask and your snorkel and go underwater past loads of shipwrecks that are just offshore, or in search of the hawksbill and green turtles that were once endangered because of overfishing, but these days are protected and are absolutely beautiful to see swimming in the open. If you don't want to get wet, then I recommend the Atlantis Submarine. Uh, this basically lets you get underwater uh, and see all the beautiful fish uh, without having to actually, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, get wet. Uh, it's good fun and really, really easy to book. Whatever you do, enjoy Barbados, beautiful part of the world.